Hello little butterflies, in this video is going to be the 7 daily sins book tag. So you guys, I wanted to do a, some tag videos that was like Halloween-y, because I really have not been in the Halloween spirit this year, and that's really out of character for me, because I'm usually like on top of Halloween, I usually like have my Halloween costume picked out like in September, like I've been thinking about it all, all year long, but I usually buy it in September like a whole month early, I'm like a Halloween fanatic, and I just... I had just let Halloween down this year. Like, I got Kalea's costume because, you know, it's her first Halloween. But I don't think I'm wearing a costume this year. And today's the 22nd. So, yeah. There will be no Halloween costume this year. <laughs> For me, I just let Halloween go this, this year. I really did. So, I gotta do something Halloween. You have to. So, this book tag was created by Bookishly Malaysia. And I think her channel is not up anymore. I don't think it is. Because when I'm like, punch the link to go to her channel, it's didn't come up and said it's like it isn't unavailable so that's who was created by anyway so but I can't link it in the description box because it won't come up number one for this is greed what is your most inexpensive book and this one is like the cheapest book that I have ever gotten and I bought it at my library like a couple months ago and that is me Earl and the dying girl by Jesse Andrews and I got this for 10 cents y'all you won't believe it if like, I, I don't think you guys will believe it anyway, like 10 cents I got this at my library. I don't know, maybe libraries in Louisiana are cheap when they put their books on sale, but all the time the paperbacks are 10 cents and like hardcover books are 25 cents. I've just seen people on booktube that say they paid um, $2 at the library sale, but it's, it's cheap. This was 10 cents and it's still in pretty good shape. It has some smudges right here. And the cover is like bent because it's it, you can tell it's been read a couple times. And but the pages are in great shape, like nothing is wrong with any of the pages. It, the book itself is in pretty good shape for 10 freaking cents. Number two is Rat What author do you have a love hate relationship with? And this one, I've only tried to read one of the books by her, but it's it's love hate just for this book period and the author i'm talking about is caroline kepnes and i'm specifically talking about the book you i tried to read this i had to dnf it it's just because it has so much repetition in this book i don't like to read a book where it's like repetition after repetition after repetition that's the one thing it was irritating me not that it bothered me in the book just that it was irritating me and i just could not continue and i was almost finished like i still have my bookmark in it because i don't know if i want to go back and pick it back up or not or if i just want to just be like and just toss it and just be done i'm not sure yet i only have a little bit left but i don't know if i could force myself to sit through more repetition especially i just i can't do it and it's just irritating me and i always see booktubers all the time talking about oh they love this book so much and they recommend this for halloween don't get me wrong it's not a, it's not that it's not a creepy read now it's a bad book but there's too much repetition i can't ignore that that's the one thing that's like one of my biggest pet peeves with books. I can't do the constant repeating shit over and over and over again. I can't do it. Like come up with something different for him to to do. Like I just sorry, I can't. Number three is gluttony. What book have you deliciously devoured over and over again with no shame whatsoever? And that book is Becoming Naomi Leon by Pam. You know, it's Ryan. This is a um I don't know if you call it middle grade. I guess it's middle grade. It's a middle grade but coming of age story and I have read this book over and I think I actually reread it. Was that last year? It may have been the year before last. I reread it. And this is a book that I actually read in school the first time. And I just I loved it ever since then. And I I kept it and I love it. And it's just it doesn't get old to me because I like to see the struggle that she goes through, but she doesn't let her her situation stop her from continuing to try to solve her situation and be in a better situation and i, I love that about her. she was headstrong she just she didn't give up on herself you know she she always gave herself some kind of hope and i just i love this story so much and i would just be honored if Khalil would read this when she gets a little bit older and falls in love with it too number four slot what book have you neglected due to laziness oh my god y'all like <laughs> I feel bad to say this like King's Cage which is the third book in the Red Queen series and you guys know I love Red Queen so much and it's not that I got off with a bad start to this at all I just I've been pushing it back and back and every time you even bring it up, I always say I'm about to start reading it again and I just I keep pushing it back and keep pushing it back and I'm like no now it's not the time and it's just I'm just I'm so scared to read this y'all like 
I've been going strong the first two books, so I'm so scared I'm going to read this. I'm not going to like it. Like, I started off pretty good, so of course, it's been it's been a few months since I actually started, and I didn't get far because I stopped. So, I'm definitely going to have to start over from the beginning, but I'm just, I'm so terrified that people I love are going to get killed off. I'm just, um, <sighs> Victoria's getting kind of reckless. She's getting kind of reckless and it's scaring me. Like, I'm so terrified people i come to love. I'm gonna die off more of them and I don't know what to think I'm so terrified that's why I've been really pushing this back like I've been coming out with excuses why I'm not gonna read it this month I'm not and I need to because the fourth book is coming out in March March I mean thank you man. one of those it, it, and I need to finish it okay number five is pride what book do you mostly talk about to sound like an intellectual reader and, but this one, I don't really talk about it to sound like an intellectual person. It's just, I don't, it really only comes up when people ask me, well, what is like your favorite classic? Or do you read any classics? Would you recommend any classics? Or what are, you know, some of your favorite books? And I will just say Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Now, I read this last year, I think it was last year, on audiobook. And I really, really loved it. Like. I don't know, maybe it's because I, I listened to the audiobook versus reading it in, like, actual person. And I want to try to that see if it changes what I think about it. But I just, I love the narrative. The narrator was so good. I just loved her accent. I love this. Like, any, but I don't bring it up to sound smart or anything. Like, it's just the fact that if you ask me what, what are some classics that I would recommend, that is one of them because I love this so much. It's one of my favorite books now because it was, it had drama that I wasn't expecting because it was a classic. I thought it was going to be very mellow and I thought it was going to be one of those where you're like, but I loved it. It was really good. So I recommend Jane Eyre to those of you who have, that have not read it. And I guess I would recommend listening to it first on audiobook or you can listen to it and read it at the same time. But I just think that if I go to read it in person, I am going to like it better from the audiobook versus me reading it actually myself. Number six is lust. What attributes do you find most attractive in male or female's characters? What I find, like what I love the most in male characters is those characters that are just like so tough on the outside and you know they don't let anyone in but when they do let you in they're like the biggest teddy bears on the inside but they are like protectors to everyone else like everyone else would think oh they're mean but personally you know that they are like the most sweetest creatures ever when you get them by this oh my god i love characters like that and that's characters like elias from amber and the ashes that's kel from red queen that is fucking edward from twilight oh my <laughs> Number seven is Envy. What book or books would you most likely to want to receive as a gift? Now, for this, is it, it's an older book, and not a lot of people like it, which I didn't know until I started um, actually, like, looking at book two. I thought, like, everybody loved these books, and that is The Twilight Saga by Marissa Myers. But I want the white editions. Like, I love the white covers, okay? I got this one because... It has um, Life and Death on it, and I still haven't read it yet, which I'm going to, but I just still haven't read it yet. Uh, but I really, 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 really want the white editions. Like, I want all of them, though. This is the only one I have. Like, when I read Twilight, I checked them out from the library. I didn't buy them. That was before my book buying day started, and I just was, like, you know, going to the library because I don't think my mom would have funded my um, book addiction then because it would be it would have been way out of control. I know it would have been, but... I really want the wide edition covers. Those are just so freaking beautiful. And I think they would just be so cute to like have on my shelf. Would I actually reread them? I don't know because I have so many other books on my shelf that I haven't read yet at all. Not even once. So I don't know if I would take the time out to go back and reread the whole Twilight Saga. And I probably wouldn't read it as fast as I did then because now... Well, okay, I'm talking about working right now, so I might... If I get them later when I actually start working again, I may not have all the time in the world to read those over books I haven't read yet. So I don't know. But they would look so cute on my bookshelf though. Like they would be so beautiful. Or I would like to get um Jane Eyre, like the actual physical copy, but I want the fun copy that like you can fold the pages and it makes like a word, like it'll make a word on the spine. And I think those are just so freaking cute to put on to like put on your bookshelf as a decoration so I would love to get one of those 
or Rupert at the Gates, which is the third book to an Ember in the Ashes by Sabata here. I can't remember when this comes out though, but it comes out at the beginning of the year next year and I can't remember when it was though. I'm gonna have to go back and look, but I would love to get that. Or The Last to Let Go, which is a Amber Smith novel. And that is the same author who wrote The Way I Used to Be. And I did a review for Did I do a review for that? I just talked about it. I'm pretty sure I did a review for it. So I'll link it in the eye if I find it. Because I'm pretty sure I did. Or um, I know I did one on my blog. Oh, no, I know I did one on Goodreads. So I'll put that in the description box below if I didn't do a video. Because I can't remember. But that is um, an Amber Smith novel. And The Way I Used to Be is a book about this. I can't remember her name. But it's about this girl her brother's best friend raped her when she was just starting out in high school and it follows her how that experience changed her way of how she acted and how she treated other people and all of that up to the point where she actually finally told people what happened. And the last to let go is not a series with the way I used to be. It's a totally different book but I just that was my first Amber Smith novel so I am just really excited to read more from her because that book was just so amazing. And that also comes out next year. I think that comes out in April. Oh, I'm so bad at remembering those, those days but that is definitely a book on my list that I want to get. So yeah you guys that is my answers for the 7 Daily Sins book tag. Um, I hope you guys like it. Who I want to tag? Um, I don't know because a lot of people have done this tag already. That's how I've seen it floating around on booktube. So I guess if you haven't done it I would love to tag you to do it because it's a pretty fun tag when you're thinking about you know past and present books that you can put as answers but whatever i tag anybody who haven't done the tag yet because a lot of people have done it already but um thank you guys for watching my video don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will see you guys next time bye